Welcome to the Boxing Bookie, and we are back, and it is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into uh, a, a smaller fight uh, on a smaller card. Uh, well, not a small, the top right card. We're going to get into Jahai Tucker, which I think is a really interesting fight, against um, Francisco uh, Daniel uh, Verón. Uh, I, I think this is a really intriguing fight because the, the, the prospect isn't undefeated, but the guy he's fighting is... And I, I don't know why they're putting Jahai Tucker through this at just 20 years old. This seems like a lot. Maybe they don't like him and they want to cut him. But you could have cut him after his his loss. We're going to get into all that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Shows you how to bring down the house, make money on boxing consistently. We've been killing it the last couple of weeks. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Uh, I don't gamble. Uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to make money. I'm going to show you the, the odds makers, the bookies. They don't know how to handicap this sport. I do, and I'm, I've been I've been done showing you how to make money, and I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, I'm going to keep showing you how to make money on on this sport. Um, got an eye injury from boxing. Um, vision just goes blurred sometimes. Um, all right. Um. All right, let's let's get into today's show. Oh, also, please uh, follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. I want to give you a, a, a little uh, PSA. I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be at the Pro Gray Haney fight in San Francisco. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're not going to have anything. But I'm going to bring you another one. This one, I'm going to bring you another one. Uh, before I leave, so you're gonna get three or four fights this week to, to look at. You got Progre, you got Rumbus Ramirez, you got this one, and we'll, we'll get you another one out tomorrow night. Uh, so we'll do four shows this week. It'll just be you won't have any for a few days, and then we'll be going live. And then next week, I'm gonna be at Bam Rodriguez in Arizona. So I'm gonna be out of town a little bit. But, but before we get into all that, uh, guys, like, share, subscribe, follow three box, three box, and blog, and Texas box scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, guys. Um, uh, Jahai Tucker versus uh, Francisco Daniel Varon. Um, this is a really intriguing fight. Uh, Jahai Tucker was a prospect that, that made his debut in the bubble uh, during COVID. He was like 17. He's from New York. He's a good-looking prospect, but they're just moving him so quickly. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why. Like, uh, he's got talent, but it's just, it's too much, too quick. Um, we've seen the guy he's fighting uh, on a CBS sports card um, once, and, and that's really it. Uh, I was able to find some of his fights on Daily Motion, which was good. Uh, and this is a good fight. And you're going to see the odds. The odds are very close to evens. It's close to a pick em fight. And I, I can see why. This is a very hard fight to handicap. Um, all right. I went back, I watched Jahai Tucker's last two fights when he picked up the competition. Nicholas Sekniashuli, I guess I'm saying that, Sekniashuli, um, he fought um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he won an eight-round decision in, in, in a fight. And he was in trouble in early. Um, he was deducted a point for hitting on a break. Um, and Sekniashuli uh was able to score early in the fight, won a round or two early, um, and then uh, Tucker dominated the second half of that fight and won, and won a decision. And then he fought Nicholas Flaz. And Flaz, <clears throat> I thought – this was a close fight, so it's not a robber or anything. I, I, I did think Tucker won, but it was close. And now th – that was back in July, so about five months ago. And they're not giving him an easy fight. They're not getting him a tumble or get right fight. They're giving him a, a, another a, an undefeated guy in, in, in Verón, uh, Argentinians. And we know Argentinians upset the apple cart, something that they do. Um, and he's a good fighter. He's a better athlete than Tucker. He's busier. He's more defensively responsible. Right? He mixes. He, he fights in a high guard. He's defensively responsible. He's a master of range. He's really, really good at controlling range. Um, he, he seems longer than Tucker. Um, he's got a lot of advantages over Tucker. Um, like he, he's older. He's got good pop. He's got a really good left hand. He's got a good jab and a good left hook. He, he's 
you know, he's, he's a conventional orthodox fighter. Uh, but you, I, I don't know if he's naturally lefty or something. But he's really, really good. He's dominant with his left hand. Uh, he throws straight shots, right? Uh, whereas Jahai Tucker kind of pulls his punches a little short sometimes. Um, Verone really extends. He throws really clean, straight punches. He's got a little bit of head movement. Um, he does get clipped a lot, though, right? Like, in exchanges, he gets clipped a lot. So Jahai Tucker wants to get inside. Uh, that's where he's going to have his success. Uh, Verone... Um, like I said, he's good, lots of good power. He, he seems to be he bounces on his feet. He's got more. He's got more bounce on the step. At this stage of his career, at this stage of both their career, like this is a bad fight for Tucker. And I don't know if they want to cut Tucker. I don't know what they want to do. Uh, but they, they they turned him pro. They obviously liked him early. Um, I, I don't know if they think he's not panning out. But it's like they're not giving him easy fights. You look at the last year and a half or so, he's fought really good fighters. Uh, better fighters in top rank usually feeds it. You know, he, he's had um, DeAndre Smith, Jose Luis Sanchez, Sekhnia Shuli, I think I'm saying that right, and then Flaz. Like, these are not your typical top rank diet. And now they're giving him this off the loss. Now, again, it wasn't a bad loss. He didn't get dismantled. He didn't get destroyed. I thought he actually won. But it was very, very close. Um, you know, I, I think the 78-74 that Tony Martin had, it was a terrible scorecard. Um, this was in Ohio. You know, not a lot of good big-time judges there. And I think they just handed in a wrong – that's a bad card. 78-74 is a bad card. Uh, but it was a close fight. I, I, I think they didn't do a great job with that. Um, as far as – Tucker is from Long Island, New York. He's got some sharp skills. Uh, but he's just too willing to exchange. Right? Like he's 2021. 20, he's being moved up way too quickly. I don't think he has his man strength. He gets clipped a lot. I mean, is it going to be a fun fire? Because both guys want to come forward, and both guys get hit a lot. Uh, we, we we know that he can weather the storm. He was hurt, like I said, with Sek Nia Shuli. <laughs> uh, he takes a lot of them, but he takes them well. He also throws a good combos. Both guys throws in, in pretty good combos. Um, so this is going to be a fun offensive fight. You know, I, I just don't think Tucker has an identity as a fighter yet. Right? He's not ultra fast. He's not long. Like he's not a master boxer. He's not a huge hitter. Uh, he's defensively flawed. I'm not saying he sucks. He's not. He's a good fighter, but he doesn't have an identity yet. Like what? what how would you describe a high Tucker in a ring? He doesn't know how to go through all the gears yet. I, I, I just think he's being rushed here. You can get him to freeze up. Um, he's not super quick. Um, I, I just think he's being moved too quickly. And I, this is a good fight, and he could win. But I'm looking at this fight, and I, I'm just seeing it like, boy, Verone just looks more seasoned. He, he looks less flawed. Uh, he looks to have more of an identity, more of a game plan um, than, than Tucker does. And again, I'm not saying Tucker sucks. And, and, and Tucker, seven years from now, when he's 27, will probably be a better fighter at 27 than Verone. But that time's not right now. So right now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. The odds, you know, and it's not a lot of props on this. So we're just going to take on the money line. Um, and, and we're going to take um, Verone. <clears throat> the odds are very close to even. Very, very close to even. Uh, it's minus 120 on Tucker and, and minus 105 on Verone. So you're not making a ton of money on either guy. The odds are, you know, I, I think fair. Looking at this thing, I think it's a pretty even fight. And I'm, I'm going to take Verone. I, I think Verone can win on points. I think Verone's got a better chance of, of stopping him. I think, you know, Tucker, I think, has to get the fight on the inside. Verone's also good on the inside. He's got some clean uppercuts and stuff, but he's very, very hittable on the inside. Where, he, where he's less hittable is at long range. Um, so I, I like Verone in this, and it's, it's minus 105. It's a one times bet, and, and a hundred dollar bet is going to make us a little over 95. dollars So it's almost even money. Um, so think about you know, bet your buddy who's going to win a fight. You, you bet him even odds. Who do you like? And that's basically what we have here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. But this is it. Uh, it's it, there's not a lot to bet on this. I I, I do think. Uh, I, I certainly think. Verone's going to pull this out in, in, in a close competitive fight. He's busier. He, he can control. He can. I just, I, he's better at winning rounds, and I think he has more pop. So 
this is a close fight. I think he's more seasoned. Um, and there's less to explode, expose in him. So I'm going to go with Roan. Guys, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Follow the Boxing Bookie for all the best boxing tips. Remember, there's a bull market everywhere. There's always a bull market. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. We show you how to bring down the house and how to consistently make money, make a consistent second stream of income on the sport of boxing, uh, on betting the sport, because the odds makers, the bookies, don't know what they're doing. It is December 6th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.